Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm getting ready to leave to go to work, but I am gonna start a little week in the life. I should have started it yesterday, but I got off work like earlier than normal because I worked a different schedule because it was a holiday. Yesterday was President's Day. So when I got home, I literally took a like three or four hour nap. So yeah, didn't do much. And then today, I don't really know. I just have to go to work. But I did a new hairstyle today. Is it cute? I love it. But I don't know how long it's going to last. Because my hair is kind of like in layers. So it's already falling out. But yeah, it's cute. Oh, I wanted to show you what I got from... TJ Maxx the other day I went on Saturday I think and I got a few things I'm like freezing okay so Angelica if you're watching this I don't think she watches but if you are stop watching or like skip like a minute because I'm about to show what I got for you <laughs> well for her baby my best friend announced her pregnancy and she's having a girl so i went to tj maxx and i got these little socks her colors that i saw on her registry were kind of like like these colors i think so i got these cute little socks they're so soft and then i got this three pack of onesies y'all i was so stressed out trying to decide sizes with like short sleeve long sleeve because her due date is just like like it's not weird but it's just like the end of summer beginning of like fall I guess but I don't know I was just so stressed out in there I was like I don't know if I get short sleeve long sleeve what sizes to get hopefully it works but these onesies this one is so cute I love these colors that she I think that she's doing adorable so I got these in six to nine months because I think I don't know also where she lives it's different weather here so I really don't know what what to buy and then I got this in three months this was just adorable I really hope she can wear this look at the little detailing on the flower so stinking cute. I'm gonna get more, but that's all I could find at TJ Maxx that was like cutie, you know? And then I got myself a few things. I got this like pullover jacket. I wore it yesterday to work, but it's, it's like an athletic one, but it's really soft on the inside. And then I got this jacket also kind of for work because it's like a rain jacket material, but the inside is fur so soft love it and then I also got myself a set from TJ Maxx but um, it was like a lounge set but I took it back because when I came home and tried it on it was see-through the pants were see-through so I returned it sadly but yeah I'm about to go to work and hopefully I will update y'all when I get home later. I'm home from work now. And I just like do not feel good at all. My head has been hurting all day. And yeah. So I, I took my hair out at work. I had that cute braid in. But I don't know if that's what gave me a headache. but my head was pounding at work. So I'm making dinner and then I'm going to shower and probably go to bed. It's how my evenings after work go. It's so boring.
So this morning at the gym, I dropped my paint cup with the um, handle on it, like the, kind of looks like a Stanley, but it's not a Stanley, it's from Amazon. I dropped it at the gym, and the top of it, like, shattered, like, just the lid, but I threw the whole cup away, because it, like, it landed on the bathroom floor at the gym, and I was just like, ew. So I threw the cup away, and I've been using my Yeti today, which I love this, it just doesn't have a handle, so... That's the only thing about it. Um, but when my cup broke this morning, I got on Amazon and I was gonna order the same one, but I kinda wanted something different, so let's see what I got. I got same day shipping. Because I literally cannot, I'm so bougie. Looks like a Stanley. I got this one instead of the other one because the top of my pink one was um, not like spill proof and this one says it is spill proof so I like it. I need to wash it. The straw is like curved. I like this. Good. Okay, we're gonna wash her. Hopefully we don't break this one. did this hairstyle again I know it's already coming out my little layers but we'll see if it gives me a headache today and then I have my hair cut today I don't even know if I've talked about that I'll talk about it later but yeah because normally I wash my hair on Wednesday mornings but it's getting washed later when I get it cut so Let's go to work. I'm getting ready to go to my hair appointment. I'm so scared, so nervous. But look how bad it is. I'll do a before, so y'all can see. Before the trim. And then I will show y'all what it looks like after. I'm really nervous because the last time I got my hair cut, or like trimmed at a professional place was like 10 years ago over 10 years ago and she just like completely botched my hair like she I wanted it like to sit on my shoulders kind of like a little bit past and she cut it up to here like it was not touching my shoulders it wasn't even close to my shoulders so ever since then I've just had my stepdad do it because he literally just trims off like a tiny bit. But with the way that I have like layers that I've never had in my whole life, it's just coming from it breaking. I have to get it professionally trimmed for it to start growing. But why the day that it's getting cut does it look long? Like it looks long today. I'm going. I need to leave in 10 minutes, so. I will see y'all when I get back. Hopefully, I'm not in tears. It's been a couple hours. I'm back from my hair appointment. I was literally there for like 10 minutes, if that. Like, it was super quick. Um, I was going to have her wash and style it, but she was like, we don't have to. And I was like, that's fine. Like, the faster, the better. So, my hair... 
is shorter, but it looks so much better. Like, it's all one length. Well, okay, it's not all one length, but I don't have that super long piece, you know? Yeah, it looks so much better. I'm happy with it. So, I'm going to go to bed. It's 9.14. This is a little late for me. But, I got chocolate on my shirt. So, I'm going to try to get that out. Um, hair appointment was good. It's a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. But... It looks good. The stain's not coming out. I sat in my car yesterday on my break and just picked out all the gray hairs right here. Not all of them, but I picked out a bunch. Also, my new cup is good, but I washed it when I got it and it just tastes like metal. My water tastes like metal. But hopefully the more I wash it, the more I don't taste it. All right. I'm going to bed, y'all. I love you. I don't remember what the last thing that I filmed was. It's Thursday. It is 6.48. And I just got in a car wreck. So... Now I have no car. Basically, I was on the freeway heading home and there was stopped traffic on the freeway. So, I mean, I probably wasn't even going like like 5 miles an hour. Like we were pretty much stopped in one lane and it was just like you were kind of like inching forward, but like you weren't going. You were just like yeah, so we were, like, I just remember being stopped. And I was just looking at the person in front of me because it would, like, move a little bit and you would just, like, scoot forward. Well, I looked up because we were about to, you know, go forward. And again, I probably wasn't even going, like, five miles an hour. And the next thing I know is just, like, like, I couldn't even see. It was just, like, black. I was just like, oh my god, like, I could, when I looked up, the first thing I could see in my mirror was my head bleeding, and I, and I just remember I couldn't see anything, and I couldn't think, it was just like, like I'm in the middle of the freeway, and my car was spinning, I'm like, oh my god, like, like it didn't even hit me that I had just gotten a car wreck. I'm just like spinning and all I can see is cars still coming towards me like nobody's like stopping nobody's doing anything so I kind of just sit there for a minute to like try to realize like what just happened the first thing that I did was just call my mom like I instantly just like picked up my phone called my mom and I was just like I just got in a car wreck, like, I don't know what happened, I don't know what's going on, like, I can't see anything, I'm like, I'm in the middle of the freeway, nobody's around me, like, stopped, but I'm, I'm facing traffic, next thing I know, my car just starts smoking, and I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna catch on fire, like, I need to get out, so, I, like, put my phone in my pocket, I got out, I see, like, two people, like, a little ahead and they come running towards me and they're just like are you okay are you okay and they're like your head's bleeding they were just asking me like a bunch of questions and I'm like I don't know what's going on like I'm confused like I don't know and they were kind of trying to explain to me like what happened basically I didn't hit anybody from like I didn't hit the person in front of me it all happened behind me where somebody tried to cut off somebody else and then it caused him to slam into me, but like the main car that caused us all to wreck, um, 
I guess they must have been going pretty fast in the lane next to us, but whoever they hit, like they just took off. They didn't stop. The other two or three cars that were involved, they stopped and pulled over and everybody was okay. I think I got the worst of it because I was the only one to hurt. But the back of my car, you can tell, like I was hit from behind. The front of my car is fine. I'll show you all my car. Sorry, I'm like all shaken up, but I wanted to like show like the true emotion after a car wreck. Like this is sad. <sighs> Luckily the guy at the scene, I and the girl, they were really sweet. And uh, the guy like was trying to help me clean off my head. And... The cops were really sweet. I sat in the ambulance for a little bit. My car is probably gonna be totaled. And I obviously am not gonna go to work tomorrow. I need to take medicine. I don't know what all I have. Information beforehand, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, that feels so good. So stinking good. I'm starting to feel better. I'm alive. I don't even know if I finished what I was saying, but... Um, I couldn't see anything, and I couldn't remember. I was like, why can't I see? Like, can I not see because it's raining and because I'm crying? Or because I, I didn't know if I had a concussion. Like, I didn't know what was happening. And I was like, no. I just left work. I had my glasses on. So I was like, asking this guy. I was like, can you come help me try to find my glasses? And he was like, yeah. Well, we found them. But. So sad. So they're like asking me questions like, Two of the guys were like, can you go and move your car? And I'm like, first of all, my car is smoking. I'm not going to move it. And second of all, I can't see anything. And then they went in there and tried to move it. And it wouldn't turn on. Which I think it wouldn't turn on because my keys weren't in there. But I was like, um, I can't see. And then the medics, the paramedics were like trying to help me up the stairs because I couldn't see. I couldn't see nothing. Happy Friday. I'm obviously not at work. Um, I am getting ready. My mom's coming to pick me up and we're gonna go and get the stuff out of my car from the tow place. And I think we're going to go and see about getting me some glasses. And then we're going to I think see about getting a rental car I'm not really sure but we're gonna go get it all taken care of I feel fine today my head like it, I feel a lot of pressure around the area where I was hit or whatever I hit my head on I think I hit it on my steering wheel which my steering wheel is one of those like rhinestone covered things, like a rhinestone steering wheel. So I think I hit my head on that. Um, I honestly have no idea what else or what I hit it on. I don't even remember hitting my head. I just remember like feeling the pressure and then looking in the mirror and seeing the blood. But, um, oh, other than that, my head was hurting a little bit in the middle of the night, but not like terrible. And my neck on this side is a little bit sore, but honestly, I feel fine. I feel good. Just happy that I'm okay. So yeah, hopefully once we get to get to my car, um, I can get everything out and then we can, I can show y'all what my car looks like in person. So yeah, just waiting on my mom now to come get me. it is like several hours later it's already four o'clock 
but we got a lot done. So my mom picked me up and we went first to the rental car place, or no, first place we went was to where my car was towed off the freeway so we could get my stuff out of it. We got my stuff out. We've got everything figured out with the car. And then we went to the eye place so I could get new eyeglasses because I wear my glasses like way more than I wear contacts. I prefer to wear glasses. So I got two pairs. I got this one. So cute. I love these. So I got these. Wait, did I show y'all that my glasses broke in the accident? I don't know if I showed y'all. Anyways, my I wear my glasses. I wear my glasses every day to work and they broke during the accident. So these are the glasses, my glasses that I've had forever. I've had these since high school. So I mean it was kind of like like it was exciting to get a new pair. But I found the lens in my car, the broken lens, except it wasn't broken. It's still in shape. Look how thick it is. That's how blind I am. So, we try to fix it. <laughs> Maybe I'll super glue it. I also got a second pair of glasses free with buying the first pair. So I got pretty much the same ones as my old ones. Just all black. So I'm so excited about that. That was like the one thing I was stressed about was not having glasses because I hate contacts. Then we went and got lunch. We got roosters. It was so yummy. Then I went to my mom's house for a little bit and then she took me to the rental car place. I picked up my rental car. I got a Nissan Pathfinder and I love it. <laughs> I want one now. So, we still don't know what's going to happen with my car. They're going to check it out and see if it's fixable. If it is, they'll fix it. If not, then I guess I get a new car. We don't know. And then after I got the rental, I went to Kroger and just did my grocery shopping for, the, for next week. And now I'm home and I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to relax. Okay, it's way later now. It's like 7.44. I have been riding on my couch, as I should. Everybody thinks I got whiplash. How do you know if you have whiplash? I feel fine, I just feel sore. My little sister is staying the night with me tonight because I'm babysitting her. And yeah. So, I will show y'all when she gets here because she's so funny. She's going to be like the, the one that makes me like get all the good content because she is, her personality is so crazy. She was telling me today, we, were, we went out to eat and she took a picture of me at lunch. She took that picture of me and was like, I love your eyeshadow today. Y'all, she was talking about my, I was like, what eyeshadow? I'm not wearing eyeshadow. She was like, yeah, the purple on your eyes. She was talking about the bruises around my eyes from the wreck. And like my eyes were super swollen this morning. I don't know if y'all can notice because I didn't have my glasses on, but my eyes were super swollen from like crying, from the wreck, but they were like purple. <laughs> and she thought it was eyeshadow. So sweet, but so sad. So anyways, they're on their way now with her and we will get some content with the Brenna Bean. Oh, wait, are you guys for real life? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Subscribe to Tay. She's not guy to listen to anything she said. She's not. Comment below, hey. 
favorite YouTuber. Better be me. No, better be me because I make good TikToks. He can get two at time. <laughs> sure. One, two, three, four. Okay. Booyah, baby. <laughs> no, no. You guys made me laugh. What? It was a what? It was a bummer. What a sad moment for the Brenna Bina Wiener. <laughs> Having a little snack before bed. She's got pretzels, cookies, milk, and the cutest girl ever. And cookie dough. Cookie dough. The best cookie dough. In the world. Do you like it better than the chocolate cookie dough? I both. Yeah, me too. I get this a one out of ten. Hmm. Then I get the um, top one a ten oh. out of one. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. What? Why? This now? I just woke up a few minutes ago, but she's making her own stuff, yes. And I see my cereal. What do you guys do? Okay, tell them we'll Steven a little bit. We'll see you guys in a little bit. What did we wake up to this morning? A lot of snow. snow. You see, guys? I look weird. I think you have to filter on. You want more, you can have more, but I don't know if you like it. Okay, come on, try some. Okay, no, I don't like it. No. It's gross. You want a new snow? Mm hmm. Alright, y'all. I have been so bad at vlogging, but. I think the last thing I showed was me and Brenna yesterday, but basically she ended up going home and then I just rested all day because my head and my neck have hurt so bad. Like at first, I didn't think that it was going to be as bad as they say, like how sore you're going to be. And I really wasn't. Like the next day I was a little sore. But as the days go on, it's like getting worse. So my neck has been the worst of it. Um, but I'm also not taking any medicine. I try not to ever take medicine unless it's like, I just have to. So yeah, maybe that's why it's been as bad as it's been. It's like, if it's not my neck hurting, then it's my head. Cause right now it's my head and then when my head stops hurting, then it's my neck. So, also my forehead looks a lot better. It's starting to like look a little bit normal. Um, but I did find a new bruise on me today. I'm guessing this is where my seatbelt hit me. It's on my like hip. It doesn't hurt, I just seen it this morning. And then today, Sunday, I did get up and go to the gym this morning. It's the first time I've been to the gym since Thursday, so it was a little hard, but I felt good going back. Um, and then I just did my normal Sunday, like deep clean, all that, laundry's done. And now I'm going to go over to my parents for a little bit, but also to help with my headache. I always tell myself if I have a headache that I need coffee or some kind of like energy drink and I just like convince myself that it's gonna make me feel better so I think we're gonna go to Starbucks before my parents I'm in my new my new car for however long I don't know <laughs> it's my rental so it's a Nissan Pathfinder which I love her um, when they told me that this is what I was getting I was like huh Cause I don't know what this I've never heard of it but I love her and I want her and I want 
I'm like secretly hoping that my car, I don't know. I don't want to say anything about my car. I don't know what's going to happen with her, but this one is in the degrees is in Celsius and I don't know how to change it. I went through the settings. Um, so yeah, but I'll show y'all the inside. It's a little dusty and the outside's like super dirty because it snowed like a bunch last night or no it snowed a bunch like two nights ago or something so the outside's really dirty but i'm not going to the dang car wash see the degrees in there i don't get it also my this thing's in celsius so it's like either if i want it cold i just turn it low if i want it hot i turn it high but she's cute so big I can't really show you all the windshield right now because I don't want to show like where I'm at but so cute it is three row seating like there's three rows of seats so that's really cool but and it's really big in here like it's much bigger than mine the only the other thing that I can't figure out is how to get this seat to lift up because I feel like I'm super low and I want it to like sit higher up, but I can't figure that out, so. All right, so I got my normal drink. It's just a venti ice brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup. And then I had a free drink and I didn't really want to get another coffee, so I just got the paradise drink so let's give her a little try the lighting is gonna be so bad right here since when do they get blue straws at starbucks that's good that's really good okay i ended up being at my parents house for like two or three hours because when I got there we started watching the movie Megan because my little sister is obsessed with Megan right now. I don't know what five-year-old would want to be obsessed with a scary movie but oh these are my new glasses. This is the other new pair that I got. These look just like my old pair that I had that broke. They're just a little bit skinnier but I love them and these ones fit my face better than the brown ones I had on yesterday, so I might go and get the brown ones fixed. I'm still in a lot of pain. I was gonna take medicine and then I forgot, so I'll probably take some before I go to bed. And then um, I think right now I'm going to edit a little bit before I go to bed and then shower and go to sleep. I've been working from home today, I forgot to mention, because I took off Friday, so I've been making up some time, but that's going to be it for this vlog. Sorry it was all over the place. I did not plan for it to be this way. I actually had some fun plans this weekend and next weekend, and now everything has changed because of this car wreck, so sorry about that, but... We're all good. We're going to get things straightened out this week. We're alive. We might have whiplash. We may have knocked some screws looser than they were. But we're good. We're good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you'll have a great week.